Hello, Science 30, and welcome to a video here we have on the heart. So we're going to run through and we're going to label this heart. You'll notice that on my labeling, there are different colors, red for the side of the heart that carries oxygen and blue for the side of the heart that does not have oxygen mixed in with its blood or very little. Uh, you can choose to do the same thing as it is important that you understand the two sides and which side carries what type of blood. Or you can just give yourself a little legend if you don't have two colors. So we're going to start at the top at number two, and we're going to look at the right side of the heart. So you may be thinking, I said that wrong, because we're looking at the left side of our screen. But the truth is, is when we're labeling a heart, a heart is labeled backwards. So we will label this side as the right side. So at the very top here, we have a vein called the superior vena cava. It is a vein because it comes towards the heart, as we learned in our vessel activities, that veins carry blood towards the heart. They also have less oxygen in them. So the superior vena cava will bring blood in, and so will the inferior vena cava. From there, the blood will pass into the section called the right atrium. The right atrium is what holds the blood at first, and then it gets pumped through what is called the tricuspid AV valve. For your understanding, you just need to write valve. You do not need to know the names of those valves. You just need to know that there is a valve and that the valve stops blood flow from moving backwards. After it passes through that valve, it's going to go into our right ventricle, which is the pumping part of our heart. So when your heart pumps, Okay, the pump, blood is going to be pumped from the ventricle and it's going to move out of your heart. For this part of the heart, this is going to be pumped to your lungs. So we go up through another valve. So again, this is called the pulmonary semilunar valve, but you can just write valve. And what it does is it gets pumped through something called the pulmonary trunk, and then it's pumped out the right and left pulmonary artery. Again, arteries take blood away from the heart, so we're moving blood away from the heart and it's moving towards the lungs. That is the pulmonary systemic system, or sorry, pulmonary circulatory system. As you can see here, all of these lettering is blue because it is all talking about blood that carries little to no oxygen in it. After the blood has been pumped to the lungs, it's going to be pumped back through some veins and the veins are known as the right and left pulmonary veins. We are now going to look at the left side of the heart as it's the side of the heart that carries oxygenated blood or blood that is full of oxygen. Veins carry blood back to the heart. So here we have our pulmonary veins and those get passed, the blood gets passed into the left atria, which holds it. And then it passes through another valve, the bicuspid valve. Again, you can just write valve. It is then pumped into the left ventricle. The left ventricle is the pumping part of our heart. So it's going to pump the blood from the ventricle through the aortic semilunar valve. Again, please just write valve. That valve opens up into the ascending and descending aorta, or just the aorta. The aorta is a large, large artery that carries blood to your upper half of your body. So like think brain, head, that area. And the descending aorta carries everything down to the bottom half of your body. Okay. So this is the parts of the heart that you need to know. Uh, we will talk extensively about the ventricles when we talk about blood pressure. And we're going to talk quite a bit about valves when we talk about heartbeats. So please make sure you have all of these labeled. You will have a little mini quiz on this. So please be aware of that. The very last piece that I did not label and you'll see here is called the septum. The septum is the center part of the heart that separates the left side from the right side so that blood does not mix. So you can also label that. Next, we're going to look at how blood flows through the heart. So I'm just going to show you that deoxygenated blood or oxygen blood with little to lacking oxygen is going to come in to the atria via the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava, passing through our valve to the ventricle and then up and out the artery. It is also important to note that you need to know the flow of blood. So you're going to be expected to know what side of the heart carries blood that doesn't have oxygen. So I just demonstrated that here with these blue arrows. Now we also need to know how blood flows into the heart that has oxygen. So you'll see these red arrows are showing that blood will enter the atria, pass through the valve into the ventricle, pass another valve as it leaves out through both the top of the aorta and the bottom of the aorta. Again, you'll notice it's red because it's trying to demonstrate that this side of the heart carries blood that has more oxygen available to it. So if you could have this entire diagram ready to go, we will be able to use it for some more learning. Please remember you will have a quiz on this as well in order to label it. Thanks and have a great day.